Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to another boss guide for Dark Souls Remastered, ladies and gentlemen. This one is a doozy. We have the infamous Capra Demon, the first guide outside of the gargoyles that people probably are going to like actually get some help with in terms of using the actual guide. This guy's awful. Um, yeah, basically, he's got a very small boss arena which makes things tough. Uh, how the boss arena is set up is when you walk in on the left, there'll be stairs leading up to a very small little nook. And then he'll also have two dogs with him. So basically two dogs fighting you at the same time as this big guy with like these big swords. So what you're going to do is you're not going to freak out. You want to take care of the dogs first, and then you want to take care of the capper demon. You can do a plunging attack on the capper demon from the top, but you don't have to. Otherwise, it comes down to just dodging his attacks. He has very slow, sort of two-handed attacks with his big demon machete. So here's the strategy. We're going to enter this boss arena. We're going to immediately hug to the left. Well, we're going to assess the situation. If it looks like we can get past and hug to the left, we will. Um, if it looks like we should hit the dog first when it comes in, we should do that. Basically, it all depends on what happens. If we see the dog like running at us and we can hit it for sure, we want to get the dogs eliminated ASAP. Otherwise, we're trying to get past them up the stairs on the left and draw the dogs to us one by one so we can kill them and then focus on the big boy. Now, this boss is so BS that this could go wrong, even though I've killed this guy 400,000 times, uh, just because you could just get RNG. You could just get like pushed into a quarter and then they're all hitting you and interrupting you. And yeah, it's really fun. A lot of people love this guy. So here we go. Uh, things are going to be very fast. Let's see what happens. All right, he's running at me immediately, and yep, we got bit by the dog. Mm, time my roll there, even though it looked like I did. I'm going to go up the stairs here. going to go to the edge of this and heal. Okay, this is your safe space right here, but you got to watch out. My God, yeah, rough start here. I'm surprised I got a, a heal off, though. Okay, so now, Capra Demon is up there. Uh, the dog's going to run over to me. We have to hit them two times, unfortunately, with this weapon, and now we are good. The dogs are dead. So again, basically, yeah, depending on how it opens up, it's really annoying. Uh, you need to climb up here and kill the dogs one by one. Obviously, if you have a weapon like this, it's really annoying because you can bonk on the wall. So if you have, for instance, an F-stock, a lot easier to poke them to death. And unfortunately, we had, this is an unupgraded weapon here. Whoop! Okay. This is an unupgraded weapon here. So we had to hit the dogs twice. Uh, we're going to do a plunging attack on this guy now. Watch where he is. Okay, and uh, we got it, but man, our damage is bad. So now, uh, yeah, you can plunging attack. Basically just comes down to dodging at the right time, as a lot of Souls bosses do. Let's see what he does. He's going to run up the stairs, and he is going to roll. Okay, I want to give him, I want to get him another plunging attack, because I want to do one that's satisfied. Let's see if we can make that happen here. hi yeah, Yeah, there we go. Oh, there, yeah, better damage too. All right, so basically, he'll just have one-handed slashes, and then he'll put his hands together and do a jumping two-handed slash. So it comes down to just rolling, uh, watching his hands. There's a two-handed slash. We're going to hit him with an R1. Okay. And two-handed slash coming in, and I mistimed it, so I got hit. That's my bad. Roll. And we're going to go up here and heal, because his damage is very big. Uh, we're going to go down to the humanity. Let's watch him. Roll. His, uh, yeah, his damage is very big if he actually lands attack, especially the two-handed attack. Okay, one, two. We're going to wait. We're going to tag him. Roll. Nice. Hit him with an R2. Roll. What the heck? I'm really surprised that that landed on me, actually. Uh, okay, so you can play it safe and do plunging attacks, obviously. Roll. Going to hit him here. Roll. Okay. Roll. Or walk away. Roll. All right, going to hit him here. Here comes the two-handed. Roll that. Gonna hit him with an R2. Roll. Oh, God, no. Whoa! Okay. So now we gotta use one of our humanities. Humanities fully heal you, by the way. If that wasn't stated! Gotta be careful he doesn't do a jumping attack. He can do a jumping attack while he's on the, uh... On the staircase. So it's a bit scary here. Gonna hit him as he's falling down twice. And let's see if we can get him with a plunging attack here. There's a two-handed attack. Can I hit him? I'm just gonna go for it. Nice! Roll. 
Okay, let's see what he does. I want to. Yeah, I was gonna say I want to see him do the jumping. He does a jumping. He does a jumping two-handed attack, and I want to see that attack so we can see how to avoid it. He's just doing the same one. All right, we're gonna kill him. Boop! Down goes the Capra Demon. Get the key to the depths. That's how you access the depths by killing the Capra Demon. Uh, and if you run through, by the way, uh, to this spot, which is really hard because you have to run through, like, so many of these little dudes, uh, just be aware they will be there at the doorway trying to kill you as you exit, just as a heads up. But yeah, um, not too difficult once you get used to this game and how it works and how it feels, because the clunk is really your enemy here. But ultimately, yeah, you just want to uh, assess the situation. Try to roll to the left. I didn't even do that, and I probably would have survived better. Try to roll to the left and get around the dogs if you can. Bring the dogs up here and kill them one by one, ideally, or both at the same time if you can, uh, up here at the top of the stairs. And then just keep an eye on him because he'll be jump attacking you, and he can run up the stairs and jump, jump attack you from the stairs. And then, yeah, you can rinse and repeat, plunging attack over and over if you wish, or just fight him head on. Um, and yeah, he's just got your typical slash, slash, and sometimes he puts his hands together, jumps, attacks, or just does a two-handed slash, uh, dual-wield slash, whatever you want to call it. So ultimately, yeah, it's just really getting rid of the dogs. That's the issue. But hope this guide helped. Thanks so much for watching. If it did, consider supporting the video. All the links are in the description below, and I will see you in the next guide. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. No, not the, this is the wrong emote again. So wrong emote again. Do the right emote. Do the right emote. Alright, this one works. Yeah, see ya.